2012 is the international year uh, of the cooperative. Uh, this, has been, this year has been called by uh, the United Nations. And just in this year, uh, the European Parliament has uh, taken a decision with a broad majority to support the sector of the social and solidarity economy and especially cooperatives. Uh, I'm delighted about this because uh, the uh, cooperative sector has provided employment for 5.4 million people in Europe. Uh, there are 160,000 cooperatives uh, with uh, co-owners, uh, 120 million throughout the Union. And during the financial crisis, uh, the cooperative sector has proven to be much more stable than the rest of the economy. There is silent and calm capital, which is not searching for the highest profit, but is serving at the same time social needs of the employees, but also of the wider society. Uh, I, many of the cooperatives are strongly uh, rooted in their local communities and uh, are providing uh, very important social services and other services uh, to their respective areas. Therefore, it is very important uh, that uh, the Europe 2020 strategy, which includes climate protection goals but also social cohesion objectives, that they can better be uh, accomplished if we support the social and solidarity economy in a holistic way. Uh, in particular, the European Union has to take the particularities of the social and solidarity economy into account when drawing up law. The European Treaty uh, clearly stipulates that there is neutrality of the European Union towards different forms of ownership. But unfortunately, quite often, uh, this is not uh, taken seriously. For instance, now, when we revise uh, financial legislation, it's often more difficult for credit cooperatives to fulfill the new rules than for may normal high street banks. And therefore, it's very important that, m that my report suggests that the European Union takes uh, cooperatives and the social and solidarity economy fully into account when drawing up European law. There was a very good uh, cooperation between the different shadow rapporteurs and me as rapporteur uh, on this report. Therefore, we had a very wide majority uh, in the Parliament for these suggestions. And therefore, I hope that uh, we will also be able uh, to realize uh, quite a lot of what we decided together. Well. Um, some years ago, the European Union introduced the European Cooperative Society as the first legal form for cooperative societies on a European level. Unfortunately, this proposal was made so complex that it had been, has been hardly used. There are only 24 uh, social, uh, European cooperative societies with less than 100 employees. This was because the whole proposal was over bureaucratic, uh, there was a directive and the statute, the directive had to be put into national law, or this has not been done in, the, in a full and uh, complete way, it has taken a lot of time. We need to simplify that in order to make uh, the European Cooperative Society more friendly uh, and more easy to use and to safeguard uh, the rights of their, of their employees better than this has been done so far. And for this we first have to reform the statute and only afterwards the directive uh, because this would be much less bureaucratic again. But what I'm particularly happy about is that uh, in my report we found a large majority for strong measures to support cooperatives and the social and solidarity economy in a much wider sense. So basically uh, the Parliament calls on the Commission to start an, uh, a process of open method of coordination between the Member States. That means that uh, the different uh, policy measures in the different countries uh, which support or should support the social and solidarity economy will be compared in a systematic way and that uh, there is a mutual learning process in order to de apply the best methods to support the social and solidarity economy in the different countries. Uh, second, uh, already 2004 the Commission published a common report and suggest, suggested 12 measures to support the cooperative business model. Unfortunately, only three of them were actually realized. The Parliament calls on the Commission to continue the work and also uh, follow up on the nine others. Uh, one of them, which I think is very important, is to recognize
recognize fully the cooperatives and the social and solidarity economy in European statistics. So, to give full visibility of the potential of employment and uh, growth, uh, but also services and goods pr produced by the social and solidarity economy, so that it's made more, more visible. Second, we need an education campaign to make more people uh, aware of uh, this third option of doing uh, business beyond uh, the state and beyond traditional private enterprises. We also suggest that the EU uh, holds an own year to support the social economy and uh, raise visibility. So um, lastly, I think it's key that uh, now the different proposals which have been pro supported by Parliament will now be realized. Therefore, we will, after the vote, now start a process with, of deliberation with the Commission in order to discuss how as many of the proposals as possible can be arriving in European law. And I'm looking forward to work with the shadows from the different political groups on this.